Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Ultimate JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have an Eve window and Duna window in Kerbal Alarm Clock. That's just added by the transfer window option in Kerbal Alarm Clock, so it's not necessarily accurate, but it's accurate enough so that we know that we don't have to worry about those just yet. We should do other things regarding the Moon or Minmus or around Kerbin first. And as a result, when we look at the Mission Control options here, uh, we have unmanned target vessel into orbit of moon. I don't know, uh, th this seems to be complicated. Anyway, we did a lot of moon stuff last time. I figured that we should do Minmus stuff this time. and Or launch a Kerbin space station again. Um, that could be a possibility. We've had uh, trouble with that. But, you know, we got the station to orbit around the moon, so maybe this one will be okay. So Minmus space station, though, I think is what we want to do first. We'll worry about Kerbin later, but yeah, it pays more, but it takes a lot more effort. I think I'll pick that up. And after that, maybe we can look at planting a flag on the moon. Rescuing Hillbull from orbit of Minmus might be good. And we still need to get the green sandstone back. So, yeah. Uh, let me check on how long Hillbull's gonna last here. Expires in 22 hours. I guess we'll pick it up right now. We need more Kerbals anyway. Uh, Elodin from Orbit of Kerbin. Well, that's another one. Now, we still have this Explore Moon contract, and that's because for some reason we didn't transfer any crew between vessels near the moon. So, we ought to do that. And I, I don't know if we finished... Did we finish all the Explore Minmus contracts? Uh, it might not have given us that tier of Explore Minmus contract yet. Anyway, first of all, let's try and uh, refit that uh, moon station so that I can work for Minmus and try and get the money for that. And then we'll see what we can do. We need to rescue that Kerbal. We should probably uh, land on, the, on Minmus and get some more data and get the green sandstone, but I don't know if I'm gonna get through all that in this episode. Now one thing we needed on our moon station was more power, and we added a few battery packs to it after the fact, but we really don't have very good battery packs is the problem. And we could get this advanced electrics here and get these rechargeable batteries, and that'll be a little bit better. But, of course, that's competing with other technologies, in particular, we've got precision engineering here, and this has uh, interesting attitude control thrusters that are ion engines. These are uh, 2950 second ISP xenon gas attitude control thrusters, and also we've got ion engines here as well, and these are two kilonewton ones. Heavy. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's so much heavier than the attitude control thrusters. When you think about it, if you can get 0.1 kilonewtons out of this ion engine attitude control thruster, and there's actually three of them built in here, but let's ignore that. But uh, something with uh, 20 times the thrust should be 20 times the mass. So that should be 0.1 tons for this one, but it's 0.3 tons. Anyway, that's just nitpicking. But yeah, we've got uh, all sorts of stuff in here that I might want. One complicated thing is I've noticed that there are these antenna feeds. And these don't have much range at all, but they say pair with a large reflector to use effectively. And then this thing is a dish reflector and it has added power. And I don't know what that all adds up to. <laughs> so I don't even want to use two different parts for antennae. I hope that that's not the only solution for getting really good range that they have here. I, I don't know why people decided that that was a good idea at all. Uh, but I sure don't see any really... And there's more re big reflectors over here. This says add power 36G, but I still don't know what that ends up giving us total. This is 400G. So I'm worried right now 
Uh, well, at least there's these, but there's a long ways off. We have to get to a thousand science and the next R&D upgrade to get these in tonight. And we're really pressed for really good range right now. And there are many different planets that we have not visited that are really far out. So, yeah, it seems like it's got to be a while before we can really do the far-flung planets. Anyway, I think... I mean, those ion engines are looking interesting, though. Fuel systems might be a good thing. But yeah, just for our immediate needs, I'll get advanced electrics. And we'll proceed like that. Okay, so I just added the batteries. We didn't have much spare mass to work with after all. This was very close to our limit of 140 tons already. And we do seem to have communication at the launch pad. That's nice. It's been inconsistent. We'll see if that holds out. But let's try and get over to Minmus. SAS on. My physical throttle isn't working. Alright, throttle up. And ignition. Engine failed. I think that's the go still. I think we can lose one engine. Let's see if we can restart it. No, we can't. Probably should have turned more vigorously though. But we did lose one engine. Okay, booster set. Oh, 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 okay, but it didn't take out more engines, so that's okay. It's okay. Okay, separation, ignition, and fairings. Okay. Those engine failures, though. I don't know, this is looking pretty tight as far as the transfer is concerned. Okay, let's not let the orbit get too far. Gosh, that was a long, long trail off. Oh, one engine exploded. One engine just randomly exploded. Oh, great. Well, anyway, that's not critical or anything. I think we'll just deorbit this stage. Oh shoot. Ah. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, maybe we won't deorbit the stage after all. Okay. I pressed the wrong button because my throttle doesn't work right now for some reason. Okay. Well, undock. Okay, we have more Delta V than I thought we did. Alright, so we can go. Uh, shame that we left that in orbit though. So Hilbel's pod is in an inclined orbit like that. And that is the Kerbal we need to rescue, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so that's 1560 on the first burn and 66 on the mid-course correction. So we do have that, and we have our antennas out. Alright, looking good so far. Okay, transfer ignition with the sparks, and go. Okay, uh, burn complete enough, we'll adjust it on the mid-course adjustment. So we just have to be below 80 kilometers. And that's way too low. Let's keep it high so that the visiting vessels find it easier to rendezvous with it. I mean, as high as we can. And for now I'll put it equatorial. We could probably change that without too much trouble, but so we need 81.5 on that and then in order to capture and circularize because we have to probably be 80 kilometers all the way around uh, that is going to take 250 so we have enough delta v let's just see if everything else works all right we've already had one engine failure and one engine explosion okay that's close enough for me let's see if it's looking okay uh, a little bit high up. 
Oh, we got a radiation scan from Gilly. That's uh, rarity. I just sort of left that thing there and hoped for the best. We are in in the space. RCS malfunctioned on Bedecker 1. Well, that's pretty old. Okay, let's see. The contract likes everything except the fact that we're not in orbit. So, and vessel type station. Well, we could probably fix the vessel type station now, right? Okay, we got that. Now we just need to make orbit. And ignition. And here again, in around Minmus, we have this odd effect on the on the plumes, where we don't see the plumes except for the last little bit there. And I don't know why Minmus does that. It must be a scatterer thing, but I'm not sure. Okay. And it likes that. All right, so we've got our Minma station in place, and sort of tempted to send a lander to get that green sandstone. It's been a thorn in our side for a while now, hasn't it? And maybe we could rescue Hillbull and get the green sandstone, or should we not do that? Let me think about that in the VAB. Well, it doesn't look like it's giving us to send a crew to Minmus Station contract yet, I suppose because we already have too many contracts in this category. So, that's a little bit of a wrinkle. I think maybe what we're going to do is try and fulfill this Explorer Moon contract. So we'll go to the moon first uh, and try to transfer a crew between our vessel and the moon station. And... I, well, hmm. Okay, uh, more complicated. Um, what I'm going to do is go to Minmus with one Kerbal, pick up Hillbull, and then go to the moon with the two of them, transfer crew between vessels near the moon, and also that would be sending crew to moon station. So, in one launch, we'll go to the Minmus first, pick up Hillbull, then go to the moon. Hmm. <laughs> um, th there might be another rescue contract. Maybe we won't do Hillbull. Let's see if we can rescue somebody. This John Long mm -hmm. in orbit of Kerbin. But we'll, we'll get the contract. Let's see where John Long is, whether that's more convenient. I did want to do Minmus things, but they're not giving me enough Minmus things. John Long's in a normal low orbit around Kerbin, equatorial. So, okay. We will first pick up John Long, then go to the moon and do those things, because those are the contracts we have. Okay, so I've redone the Mooner Leo and turned it into a Minmus Leo, even though we're not going to Minmus this time. Still have two minds about that, but uh, in order to get to Minmus, of course, we have we need, we need to have more supplies, and I've decided that we could pack more Delta V on here. Uh, we've got high quality Spark and high quality Terrier, but who knows? And chances are we're gonna lose one Bobcat, because we always seem to lose one Bobcat. So that's a consideration, but yeah, hopefully this will work out. And we are going to start off with one Kerbal inside, not two. Um, Jeb, I guess. Val has more experience, it looks like. Alright, so we're going to go with Jeb. We've sort of done this before, so it ought to be safe. We just need to pick up Kerbal in low Kerbin orbit first. That's a little bit complicated, especially since this is going to have a little bit of trouble rendezvousing. I mean, it's got the Terrier there. The RCS doesn't extend all the way. Maybe I'll put some extra RCS down here. Oh, right. Uh, even at the bottom here, it doesn't allow attachment of stuff. I guess we'll have to attach it to this here. Yeah, I've 
replace the original tanks that we had here with the balloon tanks. So can't really patch things. We have all sorts of extra supplies here to help out, but I can't add more RCS down here to balance things out, so that's a little bit of a trouble, but maybe we should just add the extra RCS tanks to here so we don't have to dump them. Well, I guess I'll have to do. Okay, well, let's see if uh, the luck holds with Jeb, or whether there's going to be some disaster. Okay, well, let's see, where is our Kerbal? Got a lot of extra wreckages around. John Long set us target. Okay, we'll wait until John Long is closer to the KSC. Okay, we will go now. Say us on. Throttle's still not working. Throttle up. And ignition. And launch. The Bobcats don't have a spool up time, apparently. Okay, we've got lots of thrust weight ratio. Just as Jeb likes it, of course. Okay, the boosters are dying down. And boosters set. Well, that was clean at least. Oh, we still haven't put enough to make use of this stage. We're still looking at extra Delta V here. I thought I had put some extra fuel here. It's scaring more than it used to. But still not enough to make use of this first stage. Okay, our orbit is forming up and I'm trying to see what kind of rendezvous we can do. Oh, that, uh, that stage did not give us as much as I thought it would. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Separation. And ignition. Well, it will de be deorbited, so that's good anyway. Okay, we have made orbit. And I just wanted to get a quick rendezvous here. But maybe we should wait a couple of orbits. It's looking like it's going to cost too much to get it too quickly. Alright. So let's get the solar panels out. Not that we need them, we've got RTGs on the top too. Well, we're gonna figure out what crazy job our rescuee John Long is involved with. I doubt it's pilot. <laughs> it's never pilot. Okay, we've entered John Long's area, but darn it, the capsule has supplies. Stop scaring me. Nice capsule, too. And John Long is a quartermaster. Like, I think maybe USI maybe went too far with all these jobs, you know? At least there should be a way to have proportions, like certain jobs occur more often than others. Okay, 0.2 kilometers. That should be okay for John Long to get over here. Well, yep. Yeah. EVA, please? This thing had a lot of mod propellant on it. 330 units. How does it fit that? <laughs> I I don't know. Anyway. Uh, oh, there's our vessel. Okay. Okay, approaching the hatch. Uh, okay, but board. Alright. Okay, well, we've got John Long. And we have to recover John Long on Kerbin for that to be fulfilled, of course. And so let's see about transferring to the moon to get those contracts done. And it's not inconceivable that we could then go on to Minmus. We'll see about that. Uh, looking at where the moon is and Minmus is, after we go to the moon, we could go to Minmus, maybe. 
But there's no point rescuing Hillbull. Right, I mean, there's no way to rescue Hillbull with two Kerbals already on here. Unless we leave one on the, min on the moon station, maybe. Anyway, we'll see about all of that, but first... Um, pretty close to the transfer time. I think we should just plot for the next orbit, though. I mean, you could sort of see it. We could, like, sling by the moon and then go to Minmus, but like, of, course, of course there's no point to that right now. Uh, we could do it. Uh, I think we're going to need a mid-course adjustment to adjust our inclination somewhat, but that is good enough for now. We shouldn't be encountering John Long's capsule again, but we better keep an eye out for that. And I don't want to smash right into it or anything. Might as well target it just in case. Okay, and go. Okay, yes, safely passing by John Long's capsule. Okay, that'll have to be good enough. And as you can see, we have a lot of Delta V to work with. And it's just that we have to put it to the right use at the right time. We could go over to Minmus. We certainly could do that. Okay, that looks good enough for now. Not perfect. Uh, inclination difference of 10.5, but we will deal with that once we get there. Okay, so once we see the sun, and uh, across the radiation belts, of course, we will orient properly. Oh, okay, the sun was right there already. We're pretty much oriented the way we want to be for solar storms and all. Okay, mid course correction. Starting early because I'm not going to use full thrust. Okay, well, we have a uh, plot to make orbit that will get us an encounter with the station, but we're going to have this stage tagging along for an extra period of time. We should really put more in the spark stage, perhaps, just so that it's easier to dock and everything. Okay, there's the moon. And ignition. Okay, well, that's as good as I could do that. And we have our encounter there. Mm. Oh, not bad. 1.2 kilometers. Let's go with that. Food, water, and oxygen look fine. Of course, we packed a lot more. We packed enough for Minmus, or at least what I thought would be enough for Minmus. Okay. Ignition of the Terrier again. Making lots of use of it. Okay, so now the thing is, while we've got this transfer any crew between vessels near the moon, I think it means EVA. But we should probably do the dock with Moon Station first, and then worry about that. Because otherwise... Uh, maybe it'll like not read this as a vessel with two crew or might there might be some complications that I just don't need in my life so first we'll dock then we'll undock then we'll transfer crew or hmm they might not even like this because you picked John Long up instead of launching with him there's so many variables yeah maybe once we dock with it it won't feel like we're two different vessels or something. All right, we'll, we'll try and EVA John Long first. And transfer John Long over to the station and then bring John Long back. But who knows how the system is going to like that or not like that. Okay, board. Does that count? Yes. Okay, so that counts for Explore the Moon. Now, John Long. Out. No more oxygen. Uh-oh. Uh, board. Okay. There's oxygen on board the station. Why did John Long not pick up oxygen? 
Maybe if I go to the tracking... Oh, maybe it's because these things are locked. Shoot. Uh, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Wow, it's, uh, John Long's been holding his breath for a little bit there. Okay, so it's because these were locked on launch so that they wouldn't fill up. Okay. Let's make sure everything is unlocked. Okay, now EVA. And he has oxygen. Alright. Crisis averted. Over back to that vessel and we'll see if we can still fulfill the docking contract. It's a shame that the contracts don't like require us to leave them at the station for some period of time. That would be fancier. I think for realism overhaul they had some contracts that actually had a counter though. Sometimes those counters wouldn't operate exactly the way I'd like them to. But yeah. And that's a little bit more sophisticated, you know, keep them there for 30 days or something like that. Okay, well, yep, they're together again. And so I'll just turn the station to face it so that we have the easiest possible time with this. I'll dock on the habitable end too. Oh, oh. I took it too easy. Oh, come on. Where's your magnetism now? <laughs> oh, I've still got the cap on. Oh, right. Okay. And, uh, that's fine. That That's fine. We still had the cap on that I had for launch. That's why. And magnetism. All right, crisis averted again, and we have sent crew to the moon station, so that's good. Uh, we fulfilled two contracts, and if we recover John Long, we'll have fulfilled a third contract. But let me just go to the mission control to see if maybe we can get some extra stuff done here while we're out here. We could pick up some food, water, and oxygen for them, and then we could head over to Minmus and do a Minmus station docking. That would be special. Doing both the Moon Station and Minmus station docking with this. If we get the contract, of course. And... Evacuate Moon Station. Well, okay, so there's a send crew to Minmus Station. We might as well just pick that up. Evacuate Moon Station. Um... Well, I don't mind if I do, really. Uh, we could we could do that, and we could evacuate the moon uh, station and send them over to the Minmus station. It only requires one for the Minmus station as well. Now, whether we could rescue Hillbull, that's a whole other story. Because uh, we'd have to leave one Kerbal on to on the Minmus station. All right, uh, but I think we'll do that in the next video. So we'll leave things as they are. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.